Okay, gonna start here soon. And, uh, yeah, sorry about the delay. The Wi-Fi was being used until a ridiculous hour by people who were not awake, and I could not do anything to change that, so... Fun. <clears throat> Anyways, um... So yeah, more Lament of Innocence tonight. I I can't say how far we're going to get. <laughs> Considering uh, now we're going to be probably exploring some other areas quite a bit. Seeing what we can get to happen and what we can find. So, um, yeah, I guess let's just start. <clears throat> I should mention, my room is uh, hotter than hell right now. I always forget, the PS3 needs to like hard reset when you start up a PS2 game for some reason. Like, to the point where the controller shuts off, it's kind of weird. There we go. <clears throat> I was worried for a moment we didn't have audio. <clears throat> In an era. Now, if all goes according to plan tonight, I should be getting us to the final area, so we can at least hear the final area theme. Anyways, I guess let's just explore now. Let's see what we can find. I know that there's a door we can open in House of Sacred Remains and the Dark Palace of Waterfalls, so might as well go see what that's about. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. The House of Sacred Remains door is... Right there. Do we have that key? Hold on. Vent items. 
Titania blue and black. Okay, looks like we don't actually have access to that door yet. Let me remember. Where's blue? Where's blue? I think there's a... There's a black door in the Palace of Waterfalls. I know that much. Let's see if I can find it. Um, it's not in that direction. And it's not in that direction. Um, there it is. So the fastest way there is from... Okay, so we're going to be taking a right up ahead. And we'll just hold right until we hit to the split with the save point. And we don't need to pay attention to enemies, really. Might help to get, like, potion drops, but... We're getting to a point in the game where potions themselves aren't going to really be doing much and we're going to be relying really heavily on high potions and elixirs or super potions. The number of typos keeps increasing. I do love broken translations like that. Uh, fuck it. Let's skip these enemies. how obnoxious these mermen were. I should probably say now, I'm probably going to go over half an hour tonight just so uh, we can make it for the miss time. I was about to ask, was this room really just one Flea Man? Oh, awesome. Might as well grab up their money. Uh, they didn't, like, drop any. Nope, not that way. Let's see, and up ahead, hang left. And wait a minute, oh no. Hmm. We actually can't go through this doorway right here. How do we... Hmm. 
Man, I'm not really sure how we're meant to get to the second floor right now. Uh, I guess let's leave for now. And let's just check out the final area. Let's see if we can survive in there. I'm gonna buy another magic ticket, though. Welcome. What would you like? Ooh, and we can buy some more high potions, too. Is this fun? Yes, certainly. Is this okay? Yes, certainly. Um... I can't think of anything else we're gonna be needing moving forward. Is that all? I appreciate your business. So, might as well just head in. I'm pretty sure the keys have to do with a uh, an item quest that eventually leads you to the super boss. So uh, we most likely won't be needing that stuff tonight. I'm trying to think though, we also have a blue dragon key, but I don't remember what it's what area it's used in. I think it's in hmm, might be the garden. I'm not sure. Oh well, let's head up. Hello there, I'm not here. Wait a minute, but if you're not here then... I'm not gonna think about this. Oh, is the man about to make an appearance, finally? There he is. It's Walter. Welcome to my castle. You're Pleased correct, this is not to Sonic. meet you. I am the master <laughs> of the castle. Walter Bernhard. Give back Sarah! Do not rush. Your lady is here. Sarah! Why? Why won't she answer? It seems the lady is tired. Hmm. It seems you are too. Rest a while. What? This, too, this dude's way too foreboding to be named Walter, of all names. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm glad I wasn't the only person who thought, man, that looks like a mannequin and not a person. Even in this game's art style. Well, that whip is Ronaldo's, is it? It can't be. My attack doesn't work. I see. It's just as that knight said. <clears throat> Very well. You've made it this far. I'll return her. As a reward. Sarah! I'll be in the throne room on the highest floor. I look forward to you making it there alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Walter. Whatever you say. That's the dream? Dating a mannequin? Some of you may be Sarah, thinking, hey, wait way. a minute. This is the exact plot setup of, uh, of Dracula X Chronicles. And they're finally about to give us a twist. Sarah, what's the matter? Finally. What's all this racket? Ronaldo, Sarah suddenly. Oh, no. You go on inside. But. There's nothing you can do. Wait quietly inside. All right. <clears throat> Please, take care of Sarah. Huh. 
How is Sarah doing? She's sleeping in the back. <sighs> what in the world happened? The barrier around this house... It responded. <laughs> what are you saying? That's... That's not possible. There's no use hiding it. So I'll tell you plainly. That girl has been tainted by the vampire. God, the dramatic panda Leon's face You're isn't lying. supposed to be funny, that but it is. Be. Why would I lie to you? You must accept the truth. Please. Tell me you're lying. She is not a vampire yet, to be precise. She won't even be aware of it. But as time passes, she will gradually lose her humanity. Ronaldo has very small oh arms, God. I feel. In comparison Is to uh, I can do? Lanky Kong over here. The only thing would be to defeat Walter immediately. Tell me, is this whip effective against him? Why do you ask? I tried to strike him with it, but it didn't seem to work. It is as I thought then. It didn't even work for you. Isn't there another way? Well, there is, but... Tell me, I'll do anything! Then let me ask you this. that girl. What? what are you saying? If you make the whip complete, you can destroy him. But in order to do that, you need a tainted soul. One that trusts you. And one that you can trust. I abandon everything in order to save Sarah. I could... <clears throat> I could never do such a thing. She's not human. It's a difficult thing to do. Just in her head and put it back on after Walter dies. <laughs> Is Sarah really? There's no doubt about it. I confirmed the bite mark. The fact that the barrier responded is proof above all else. Sarah! Did she overhear us just now? So Sarah, yeah, a uh, big please, twist. She's a vampire. Stay away. Sarah, calm down. Did Oops. you? Oops. Did you hear us talking? It's okay. Please trust me. I will save you. I will. You'll see. I appreciate how you feel, but I, I have no time left. No time. <sighs> I can feel it. My heartbeat is weakening. And my blood is growing cold. I can feel myself changing into something inhuman. If my soul can save others, then I won't die in vain. I do not want anyone else to suffer my fate. Why? Please, if you still love me, please grant me my final wish. I cannot. You dishonor yourself, Leon. How do you think Sarah feels? I know, Ronaldo. I do know. <laughs> Leon, all that is needed now is your resolve. Leon, I will be with you. into a blood covenant with Sarah's soul. Focus your spirit on Sarah. 
I'm sorry, he needs to do what now? All becomes one in infinity. The tainted soul joins his undesired and cursed soul. His blood accepts your hatred for the power to slay your kind. Now, use the whip against Sarah. I swear to you, no more will suffer your fate. Man, this is a long block of cutscenes. This, this goes on for way longer than I remember. That was one of the forbidden secrets described in the book belonging to Matthias's family. Now that whip has become the bane of the children of the night. Yes, I can tell. The power of hatred and destruction that the whip has against vampires. I'm sorry, Leon. It couldn't be helped. It is no one's fault. It was what Sarah wanted. Are you going already? Yes. I must keep the promise I made to Sarah. I see. Come back again anytime. I can be of some help to you. So yeah, uh, now if we go to our whip, it's finally labeled as the Vampire Killer. And yes, this is the origin story of the Vampire Killer whip. This whole time, the whip was a lady. This single piece of like lore information makes so much of like random parts of the series make less sense and yet at the same time it makes the later games make a little more sense so it's questionable as to what's canon now and what isn't it doesn't help that later games build off of games that shouldn't be canon but you know that that's fine best example is castlevania bloodlines where a non-belmont wields the whip and it, it does not make sense. <clears throat> you send Dracula's head to the moon with a lady? Yes. <clears throat> now I know what you guys are thinking, but wait a minute, if that's Walter and we just got the vampire killer, then where the fuck is the big man himself? Where's Drag? And uh, to that I say, in due time. Anyways, welcome to the final area, Pagoda of the Misty Moon. These lower floors have uh, the less good music, in my opinion. But of course, you guys will see the good music soon enough. Oh, hmm, I wonder if they're preparing me for anything. You know what this, uh, this plot twist really reminds me of? The reboot to Bionic Commando, where it turned out, and uh, spoilers for that game if anyone still even cares about it at this point. 
Uh, where, like, at the end of the game, it's like, oh, by the way, your arm is your wife. Uh, we turned her into a bionic arm. Oh. Oh, no. This isn't going to end well. Oh, God, he's on fire. This is actually really easy. Then again, it might be because uh, I have the most broken uh, sub weapon in the game. regular enemy did four damage. What do you want to bet there's another boss behind this door? Nope. Just a bunch of enemies. A new enemy this time, I believe. Phantoms. They disappear except for their eyes. Meaning they don't disappear, basically. Introducing the theme song of the game, titled Lament of Innocence. and probably the best song of the game. And of course, the title now makes sense because, uh, well, <laughs> what Leon's going through. God, these lizard knights are gonna be a problem.
and yet at the same time, the gargoyles seem pathetically weak. Huh. Good mixture in this area, I can tell. Spartacus, another technically new enemy type, I believe. Not really super uh, interesting, though, because he's what we've been fighting this whole time. It's another breed of skeleton, who would have thought? Okay, could you, like, not? For, like, ten seconds. There. Slams whip energy into the ground while doing a spinning jump? Hold on. How do I do draw up again? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, shit! That's a cool combo. I'll have to make sure to actually do that at some point. Oh, good. One of these. And they're dead. Good. Now, of course, it's worth noting this is the hardest area in the game by far, outside of, I think, the area that leads down to the secret boss, but we don't even have access to that one yet. I don't know what we need for that. I think we need... I don't know. I'd have to check. I don't know which key it is. It might be all of them, actually. I, I would have to look it up. But, of course, the secret boss isn't going to be tonight. What's this? Alright, a six tablet. <clears throat> no. That's not gonna fit. Alright, I guess we'll go around the other direction. Thank you. 
their grab range feels uh, very lengthy. Okay, so we've circled all the way around. I guess we have to go the other direction. A save point would be nice. At this point, just for the HP restoration, Hallway, there should be another door. Okay. Excuse me. Oh god. There it is. Thank God. Oh my God. Now sadly, I don't think there's any extra modes after you finish this game, unlike a lot of the other games in the series. Like, I don't even think there's any, like, special passwords you can enter in the name, oddly enough. I'd have to look it up to see. But as far as I can tell, the game doesn't actually tell you about any of them. Um, if I remember right, this thing is going to be sealed off if we go this way. Or not? It sealed by an enormous power, a pattern of a dragon is carved here. Okay. I was about to say, is the game just going to let me walk up there? Like... Like, just walk up to the ending? No questions asked? But yeah, it does look like we have some things that we need to do. So, let's just, let's explore a little bit then. It's not every day we're in an area with such good music. What? Sure. That didn't do anything. Okay. My best guess is we're gonna have to go down to the first floor and then take a left here for how to progress through this area. Because it looks like the moment we enter this room, one of the doors is locked. It looks like it's always the one on the left, yeah. Oh. No? Maybe? Are there some down here? There are. Okay. There's one. And then if that's gonna run out, what do you wanna bet? And I'm gonna have to do it again. Yep! 
Okay. Alright, 20 seconds to do that. Let's see if I can. God, it's so finicky as to whether or not it even counts it. Oh, no. It's really finicky. You have to be, like, pressed right up against it, and it doesn't help that the floor is bullying you the whole time you're trying to do this. There we go. Now, I'm incredibly worried about beating the final boss, because, uh, I remember it being really tough. enemy corridor. Oh, but they don't mandate that I fight any of them. Got it. I don't have a reason to fight these guys. Most I can think is like, oh, I'll get another combo ability. Now, I bet this is the spot where we have to use the six tablet. enemy type. They really enjoy disrupting attacks. Why not use the tomato juice? Uh, do I have anything else? Sure, shortcake. This room is not worth it. I can tell you that up front right now. Who needs a heart repair? God, that item's broken. And it's like a common drop, too. Oh, we're doing this shit again? Got it. My best guess now is that the uh, four tablet is going to be on the floor below us. 
which honestly at this point, the fastest way into that, I'm still gonna go all the way around this, but I'm just gonna use a memorial ticket. Sadly, that means going back to listening to not Lament of Innocence. Okay. God, I hate these rooms. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> stone enemy out of there. There we go. So many enemy recolors in this area. I'm pretty sure we've seen every normal enemy type in the game, and they've all been repeated at least twice. Okay, uh, kill this enemy and then use the memorial ticket to get out of here. Because there's no other places for us to go up on this top floor. Except getting the four tablet and heading up this tower, it looks like. Has he always had that animation for it? I feel like he hasn't. I don't know. Welcome back. What would you like to All do? Alright, let's see. What can we buy? I mean, we have to buy Is another one of okay? these yes, so we can have another return ticket. Okay, that's a good item. This is also a really good item. Increase my defense. I think this is a relic. I think. I don't know. I'm gonna buy the jade mask and we'll see where it shows up. I think that's a relic. And then okay. put the rest of the money else? into high potions. Anything else? It must be tough, but hang in there. Okay, it's not a relic. Then what is it? It's an accessory. No. Nope. Welcome back. Do not talk I to him. Appreciate your business. So we can now charge up our whip attacks. <gasps> I think is what it said. We can charge up and destroy large candle stands is what it said. Which my hope in getting that is that it's going to make it easier so we can uh, abuse the purple, purple holy water I'm pretty sure is what we have equipped. Yes, purple holy water. So that we can abuse that more often. I'm going to hit the save point at the bottom here because I haven't seen a save point on the first floor. Thank you. 
Let's see. How do, how do we do it? Is this not one of the candle stands we can charge up and destroy? Um. I don't know. Okay. Good use of a bunch of gold, am I right? Oh well, we'll probably see some up on this next floor. <clears throat> Back into the pagoda of the Misty Moon. Forward and then left when we can. It's not that one. It's this one that drop a big heart. Wait a minute. I see what it does. We don't need to attack the candles anymore. We just walk into them. Okay, that was definitely like good money spent because uh, I'm already back at cap. Almost there. Right, now we get to head this way. Sometimes it feels like it doesn't do anything, like enemies will just hurt you straight through it. Looks really cool, but it actually doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. Speaking of damage, what the fuck is happening? Why do these skeletons take so much abuse? Are they red skeleton types? Like, they don't look very red. They look kind of bronze. Okay, I'm going... I can't assume we can't kill them because we're locked into this room until we do. What the fuck is happening? Oh, 
dodge skeletons. There's only like one that we can kill. I don't know how we'd even tell. Uh, I'm looking this up. <laughs> Well, apparently they drop a relic, so there's... What the fuck? Oh! Got it. I was right. There is a real one hidden in this room somewhere. I just have to... Like... Weed him out. My best guess is it's one of these three. Okay, it's that one. Come here. Ah, okay, so the real one's actively trying to avoid me. Got him! Okay, so we have two rooms we can head off to from this one. Uh, let's go this way first. MP Max, I'll take it. hundred total hearts. This didn't go anywhere. Well, that's the entire first floor that we can explore. Like, all of it. Trumper before your dying battery, for I am Walter! Really, who decided to name this fucker Walter? Like, I just want to have a word. I just want to talk. Okay, I have a feeling that switching that lever switched the numbers in this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I know what we're supposed to do. It's actually really clever. So, uh, if you were paying attention earlier, I flipped this lever that... So there was a sun and there was a moon thing being shown. And I flipped a lever and it mirrored both of them and there's a slot in the middle. So what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to go back to that room and I'm supposed to do it again. But this time with the six block in there so it becomes a four block because it'll mirror it. 
Also, can we talk about how most of this area is completely and entirely optional? You don't have to do any of it, basically. You have to go through one of the circular rooms and... Uh... Yeah, that's it. You don't have to enter the other half. Wait till you see the true mastermind. Brendan! Tremble before the might of my mightiest soldier, Dave! It's like they completely missed the memo of fantasy names for villains. And I'm just like, what should we name him? How about fucking, I don't know, Walter? What's sad is his last name is like almost there. I'll never defeat Jimmy, you're right. And it flips him. There we go. Got the four tablet. I don't see how that dodge was perfect. It's amazing how much of this game is entirely optional, honestly. Of if like of all the games in the series, this one needed the RPG elements the most in my opinion. And the fact that it's lacking them feels wrong. Because there's no reason to fight these enemies now. They're just resource drains. The only reason you have is to get money. But if you're already maxed out on like high potions, like, what? What are you gonna do now? Like, I have seven high potions, and I doubt I'll even, Like, I doubt I'll need that many. So... Just head around the circle. Kinda sad, honestly. Cause this game could have been something great if they just gave us an incentive to fight things. <clears throat> like the most incentive the game has is that you unlock more combos, but like four combos means what exactly for me? What's that? Like almost nothing? Okay. Okay, I, d I don't understand why this part's necessary. There's an inscription on that. I wonder what it says. Dragon Crest! Opens the door that leads to the throne room. There we go. Just like that, we've cleared the pagoda of the Misty Moon. Honestly, I can sort of see now why people were kind of disappointed with this one back in the day. In a lot of ways, it's better than Castlevania 64, but in a lot of ways, it's not. Castlevania 64 gives you plenty of reason to fight enemies, mainly in that they're really fucking obnoxious and will never leave you alone otherwise. Whereas this game, like, the final area is literally me walking past everything because I I have all the potions I need and I don't want my resources to go to waste. Oh yeah, not to mention the fact that I'm full, of, full on MP and hearts. Okay. This enemy is fucking annoying. Leave me alone, please. That gargoyle hit me, like, twice. And I was like, it's, I, I thought, man, it's fine. I can just walk past him. Nope. Okay. 
Well, we are heading into the final boss now, so just a warning, just heads up to everyone. And I don't, I really doubt we're gonna beat him the first time, because I remember that he's actually quite tough. Everyone say goodbye to the theme, Lament of Innocence. Because I'm pretty sure we have 100% of the map to Pagoda of the Misty Moon. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go in it. <clears throat> Bosses in Chaos Wars feel like you're pounding on a wall that keeps rebuilding itself while you're a bunch of small fry. Well, a bunch of small fry picks off your characters with shockingly powerful attacks. So really, it's basically a game of how fast you can kill the lackeys and gang up on the boss. Well, uh, I guess this is just what our setup looks like going into the final boss. We never did find another relic. They might be enemy drops? Maybe? I'm not really sure. I'll have to look into how the relic system works later. But the fact that we made it through the entire game without interacting with it, never even, like, honestly, I never even felt like, damn, I wish I had a better relic. Like, never. Makes me question why this system is here. All right, here we go. Final boss time. <clears throat> Welcome. I have been waiting, Leon. Walter, I will never forgive you. I see. It seems you have enjoyed the gift that I gave you. <sighs> yes. Thanks to that, I now have the power to defeat you. Well, that power is quite something. But I am beloved by the night. You will taste my powers. I'll kill you and the night! Interesting. Good line. Now the curtain rises on this delightful little game. I feel like they could have gone a lot harder on uh, this guy's design. <laughs> Here he comes. What? Yeah, it's going to piss on the moon, yes. By the way, this cutscene's a little broken. It doesn't start moving for a uh, few there seconds. There's nothing left to protect you. I'll fulfill my promise to Sarah now! Not yet. The power of the night is still full. I shall teach you the meaning of true terror! So, yeah, final boss Walter. Finally, with a theme! Okay. Going. There he is. There he is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dissolve. Never get hit by that. Oh, no. Alright, phase two is going to be a little trickier. Oh 
god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so how do we avoid that one? Uh, God, is there a method? And of since Walter blast attack. <laughs> I'm sorry. This attack's name is Demonic Megido. What the hell? That's fucking intense. So how do how do I avoid it? Um, sure, a boss back. Why not? Ev, it's uh, Walter. All right. Um, this guy is labeling him wrong, and it's actually very annoying. Um. Got it! Okay, so what we have to do is we have to just be at the back of the, the arena. You know, it, it's fine. Just run across the map. <laughs> Boss called Izo in the aforementioned game is pretty crazy. Uh, all the bosses of a giant fuck you attack is an ultimate move, but one of these those normal moves is a gigantic fuck you attack that he has basically no limit on. What the fuck? That's, like, broken. Well, we can skip the cutscenes. And of course, uh, now I can point out and watch closely, uh, the character models won't actually move in the uh, cutscene when you hit Walter for the first time. What? <laughs> no one is moving. And now they're moving. Now there is no Alright. Take our cheap shots. Dracula teleport to tag. Oh god, 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 oh From the moment he starts doing that, you have to move to the back of the arena. after that happens. Alright, where's he going? Right next to me. Probably, yep. He is astonishingly bad at predicting where I'm going to go. 
God, the camera always gets so fucked up after that. Alright, do your attack. One more combo will get him. There he goes! That was Walter! It can't be. This should not have happened. Sarah's suffering. And Rinaldo's grief. Carve them into your cursed body and perish. <laughs> Trust me, Walter is not Dracula. With my powers, I will surely come back to life. I could not obtain the Crimson Stone. <laughs> But someday, However, Dracula's identity is mine. in this game, and it's uh, it's been right under our noses this entire time. <laughs> By the way, in case you thought he wouldn't no. make an appearance, here he is. And that's the end of Walter. I offer to the king who wields the crimson stone. Remember, the crimson stone allows you to uh, control vampires and do a bunch of crazy other shit. And, you know, turns you into one yourself, but who cares about that? Once you become Mega Ultra Chicken yourself. Matthias? Surprise! You didn't disappoint me, Leon. I knew without a doubt that you would accomplish this. What is the meaning of this? I needed a powerful vampire soul. That is all. Are you saying you used me? Not just you. You're betrothed. Sarah, Rinaldo, and Walter. I used all of you. I never thought it would go so well, though. Is that red stone? The crimson stone? Ah, oh, you know In fact, you're pretty easy to manipulate. I'm impressed. I made Walter's soul mine with the power of this stone. Sense of rage from this whip. Matthias, you abandoned humanity? That's right. By becoming a vampire, I obtained eternal life. That was my goal. It was my revenge against God. Revenge against God? our lives and fought for the sake of God. But God mercilessly stole away the one I loved most. When all I ever wished for was Elizabeth's safety. If limited life is God's decree, then I shall defy it. And within that eternity, I shall curse him forevermore. Fool. What? Is 
this what the woman you loved would have wanted? The Matthias I know would not have loved such a woman. Elisabetta was a kind, honorable woman. She was concerned only for me to the very end. That is why I hate him! Am I wrong? Did you not defeat Walter with hatred in your heart, too? Yes, I'd be lying if I claimed otherwise. But defeating him... No. Preventing others from suffering the same cursed fate. That was Sarah's dying wish. <sighs> you got the names mixed up? Granting my beloved's wish. That is all I can do to prove my love to Sarah. Oh, your point kind of falls apart when thinking about how you tricked me into killing my Eternity. wife. right under our nose this entire time mentioned in passing by several characters throughout no. the game by my master's orders you will be destroyed here and now all right so uh yeah true final boss here death and if you thought any other fight against death was ridiculous Oh my god. This one. Die! Minion! Die! Oh shit. I can't. Interesting. Man, that attack is tough to predict. Saw the future when Ali Card's team kills him, decided to toughen up. <laughs> Die! God, this fight is ridiculous. <laughs> Sadly, I've lost all of my skills at it. Of course, we still have about 40 minutes, so uh, we might be here a while. How much more money do I have right now? Not any. Okay. Oh well. We have to beat Walter while taking minimal damage, which will be tricky. And I don't think there's anything we can do with our whip. Um... <laughs> that'll make it stronger, and it's really one of the only things that can hit death. We could grab, like, the axe or whatever, but it's it's not gonna be as good. What? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Cheap shots. a 
little reckless with phase one here. attack but on crack and way harder to avoid because I, I like that oh oh is he he's starting phase two Honestly, I might as well be, like, holding water in him at every opportunity, because I can't use this against death. Camera. swap controllers between this attempt and the last one because uh, my battery is, you know, my controller battery is going dead, so... I'll pause once we get to death, and I'll swap out the controller. When finding out that there's one bo another boss immediately after one, it really puts the first boss in a different light. You start to wince at every hit you take. Yeah, no kidding. Now, I'll be right back. I'm going to swap out my controller.
All right, we in here with the off-brand controller now. <laughs> this is gonna take a little getting used to. Not so much though. <laughs> oh God. So that's one of his attacks. Now, believe it or not, this isn't even the hardest boss in this game. There's another that's, like, way harder, apparently. I've never fought him myself, but... Got him down to phase two, and if I remember right, this is where this boss gets stupid. Like, he's gonna use some attacks that are gonna make you think, like, what the fuck? Is this Castlevania? Oh, there it is! <laughs> like, like, what? What the fuck even was that? <laughs> It's like, all right, you got me down to half health, die, bitch. It's amazing how weak death gets later. This is like his absolute strongest appearance by no slim margin. And there's no, no amount of like better items or whatever can like get me through that. Even though you're dead, you're still fighting me because I'm dead. <laughs> like, the most I can think is we can get the, uh... The sun armor. And that'll reduce da all damage by 30%. Which, by the way, keep in mind, we have all damage reduced by 20% right now. <laughs> and things are still dealing this much damage by the end of the game. Two. 
camera. attack time. time. There we go. Reminds me of my character's getting smoked by 15 at <laughs> by it enemies that are like 15 be. enemies lower. Bleh, 15 levels lower than them. Jesus. If I could like speak tonight, that'd be cool. Alright. Third time's the charm, right? Oh my god, I thought Leon wasn't gonna block in time. Minion! Now the way to avoid that Minion. one is to dodge towards him. So you go between, like go through the loop basically. Again. 
Come on, Death, do it. I know. There it is. No idea how to properly avoid that one. Oh my god. Again? Okay, so you have to sort of control your jump uh, with, when you're avoiding that one. Out of high potions. Deadly Tempest. have a super potion. I'm gonna use it. Deadly Tempest. Castlevania Lament of Innocence. I would be. I have the power to destroy all related to the vampires. Though you have divine powers, you are no exception. Unfortunately for you, as long as my master survives, I will rise from the dead. I see. Give him this message. You have become a cursed being, and I will never forgive you. This whip and my kinsmen will destroy you someday. From this day on, the Belmont clan will hunt the night! Yeah, no, uh, that was their big shot. <laughs> okay. And sadly, this is the last we'll ever see of Leon Belmont until next time when I'm figuring out how to get to the secret boss. I'll grind up for money off stream and get the, the stuff that we need though, if I get around to it. <laughs> end of the game so yeah just to go over what this game added to the lore we got an origin story for the vampire killer we know why it kills vampires um and then 
and of course why it's special. And then of course, uh, we now know who Dracula is. Dracula is Matthias Conkrevist, I think is how you're supposed to say it. Um, yeah. Is the credits music certain versions of Symphony got for some reason? That's weird. Anyways, overall, this game's pretty alright. I can't say I recommend playing it. Um, it was due to I Am The Wind being copyrighted, but why this in particular? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I can't say I recommend playing this one yourself, ever. It's not the best game ever made. It's got some really cool moments, don't get me wrong, but overall, most of the game you don't even need to, like, interact with. Like, we literally didn't touch the relic system. At all. There was no reason to. Like, why would we have done that? It didn't even work on the final boss. The orb system seemed to have been more useful than the relic system. And even then, it's just... it. The relic system itself felt like a neutered version of the dual cards, like the DSS system, from Cat, like Circle of the Moon, which something feeling like watered down Circle of the Moon isn't a compliment. Let's just say. But yeah, um, next time, if you guys are gonna tap out before the uh, the post stream next time we're gonna be finishing up with this game doing like whatever else we need to do i'm pretty sure all we have to do is fight the uh the big super boss we're not gonna be 100 percenting the map i don't feel like we need to but after that we're gonna be playing a game that i finally recommend playing through for anyone interested uh, if you've never played any Game Pass Symphony, uh, Harmony of Dissonance is the next game, and it is very good. So, we're finally getting outside of that awkward era of Castlevania, and we're gonna go straight into the good shit. And so the story of the Belmont clan's struggle against evil begins. However, Matthias and the Belmonts will not meet again for hundreds of years. Matthias goes into hiding in foreign lands and continues to curse God for eternity. Eventually, he names himself Lord of the Vampires, King of the Night. The years before their next meeting pass slowly and quietly, but with finality. The intermission in this exquisite play from which two souls will <clears throat> never escape. Oh, there he is. Um, at the name entry screen, if you enter at Joachim, you can play in Joachim mode. We might do that next time. And then crazy mode unlocked uh, at the entry screen. If you enter at crazy, you can play crazy mode. I believe that's hard mode. I don't know all the differences in crazy mode. I'd have to look it up. But, uh, you know what? We have a few moments, you know? We have another 15 minutes or so. Oh, can I not? Can I not get out of this? Oh, no. Uh, my controller just turned off. Off-brand, am I right? What about wacky mode? Save clear data? Let's put it here. We don't want to save over our save file with, uh, all of those potions. So, here, let me see. Jump to crazy mode. There we go. Uh, we'll take a look at that later, but for now, let's go to new game. And we'll enter at... We won't be playing all the way through this mode. Uh, 
I hope I spelled that right. And we'll go ahead and drop this in slot two. It's about to say, did death curse you to not be able to save your victory? We can save it. <laughs> it's just, you know, terrible off-brand controllers. How to play with Joachim. Uh, locks onto enemy. Attacks with sword throw. Change sword stance. Special attack. Jump. Oh. Oh my. I've never seen this mode before. This is... Well... Clearly, there's no story, but... <clears throat> we can play around in this for a few minutes. House of Sacred Remains. So he can attack up to five times in a row. Rapid fire. And it looks like he builds up MP as he hits stuff. And then you fight Richter for some reason. Even though this is like 700 years before he was born. I gotta say, I appreciate this mode. It's probably only worth about like 10 minutes worth of entertainment value. Especially considering there appears to be even less of a reason to fight here than there is normally. Because nothing's even dropping money, I don't think we can go to the shop. This jump is real stiff. This is like a classic Belmont jump. Oh no. Can I even? There we go. Maybe we can rush through to the Parasite Worm fight. I doubt we can finish this area in 10 minutes. Again, no story, nothing special about this. It just it seems a little interesting. Are there more? One more. We'll stop at the first save point. Which is right here, okay. Well, that's Joachim mode. You just play the play through the game, but again, man, with sentinels. Ooh, what's a special attack? Boring, that's what it is. Oh. Interesting that the character they chose is the boss of the Dark Palace of Waterfalls. I wonder what's in there. I'm really curious as to what they would have put in the Dark Palace of Waterfalls. Hmm. But yeah, that's uh that's it for Castlevania tonight. Why did my PS3 crash? Oh, there we go. Um, go ahead and transfer it over to the post stream. There we go. Okay, pull up some music, and uh, we can talk about just fucking whatever for a little while. Feels good to get another um. 
another Castlevania under our belt. There we go. So yeah, uh, as usual, Castlevania's moving a lot faster than Sonic is. Because we still have a long way to go for Sonic 06. Who knows, we might take some detours before, uh, because Castlevania's definitely gonna finish before Sonic. Yeah, I know, ironic. So... I mean, we still have the Lords of Shadow trilogy, to be fair, and those things are pretty long. I don't know, we might have time to, like, squeeze in, like, maybe... I mean, I'm already doing Bloodstained, so uh, don't need to worry about squeezing that one in, but I might have time to squeeze in some other Castlevania-inspired games that I think would fit quite well in with these streams. But yeah, next up we have Castlevania Harmony of Dis Dissonance, not Despair. Harmony of Despair is later, like much later. Which I would love- that one's multiplayer, actually, Harmony of Despair. I would love to get some people in for that. I don't know if the online's still up, though. I know it was up as of, like, a couple years ago, but I don't know if it's still up. Might be interesting to try and check that at some point, but uh, either way... I might make that one, like, maybe, like, a group Let's Play, so I can sit down with, like, maybe, uh, maybe my friend Peyton. Maybe he would want to do it. He doesn't know anything about Castlevania, but I still think he'd enjoy it. But that's if the online's down and no viewers want to join. That one, trust me, I've tried to play through it, like, alone, and it is, it is abysmal <laughs> to try and, like, finish on your own. The final boss just gets so mean, especially if you're, like, trying to play as Simon. Like, God forbid you try to beat him as Simon. So Simon Solo Run when? I almost completed one at one point. There's only, I think, six levels in the base game, maybe seven, I don't remember. Um, the final level, though, you have to play through really meticulously, because you have to grab a whole bunch of shit while you're running through the castle to, like, guarantee you won't be too bruised by the time you get to the final boss. And then when you're there, when you're finally there, he, he can just, like, fucking murder you whenever he wants because you're Simon you you don't have like any good dodging abilities I think you have a back dash and that's it and the back dash doesn't even give iframes um, you don't get any defensive abilities the only thing you get are sub weapons and they are not enough they are not even close to enough you don't even get to change your equipment so you're dealing a static amount of damage to him at all times and it's a very low amount of damage Uh, if you're going to play through the game ever, I highly recommend playing as either Shinoa or as Soma. I guess it makes a little sense to have a ridiculous final level for a multiplayer game, but yeah, no, it's it's really hard. There's also some DLC levels, but I, I only own one of them, and I don't really want to drop all the money it takes to get all of them. I think there's like five of them in total, and they're all really expensive. There's also a bunch of characters that are DLC as well. So... I own one of them though, and it's uh, it's based off of the NES Castlevanias, I'm pretty sure. So you go through like a portion of Dracula's castle, like the entirety of it though, in one fell swoop. It's very hard. I've never finished that one. I have finished the multiplayer, like uh, the single player, you know, 
the base game, the first six or seven levels, I finished that. I didn't do it by myself, I did it with the help of a Japanese man on the internet, but still. You know, it's weird, because I did that in like 2018, I think it was, and, you know, you never, you never, ever get people to, like, join games in that. So I think we just got excited, and we, uh, we played through the whole game in like one sitting. It only took about two hours, oddly enough. It's really not long. Especially if you have your characters already grinded up. Like, it doesn't take any amount of time. I don't know, I'm leaning more towards the, like, the multiplayer let's play, quote-unquote. I don't know. Depends on, uh, what my friends are comfortable with doing and what they, what they want to do. Especially since, like, getting into multiplayer games and that, that one is, like, so specific. Like, it, it takes... It takes someone else to be playing this almost seven-year-old game. Now, I guarantee you, if they released the game and all its DLC for 20 bucks on Steam, everyone would fucking play it. Everyone. It would be a big deal for this game to suddenly come back from the void that it was lost in. They won't do that, though, because Konami hates money and only likes Pachinko. Switch music now. And in case you're curious, all the music I've been playing this stream is from uh, Smash Brothers. frustrating uh, to see Konami just not want anything to do with this franchise nowadays. I think they're afraid that anything they do with it now will get them a negative reaction, sort of what happened with, uh, with Metal Gear. And like, granted, there are a lot of parallels with what happened with Metal Gear and what happened with Castlevania. The difference is, Castlevania very rarely had, like, a big, grand point that it was trying to make, you know? Metal Gear is full of that shit. And to have a game suddenly come out from a different director than Hideo Kojima, it feels weirder than a game coming out from not Ika. Because... While Ika's games are amazing, uh, the scenarios are rarely ever anything to write home about. Okay, let's see. Crazy mode for Lament of Innocence. I'm curious about this. Um, monsters will be a lot harder than before. You can only have, hold a total of five of each item. As a reward for beating the game on crazy mode after saving it, you'll be able to buy Mobius's brooch in Ronaldo's shop for 200,000 gold. This accessory will enable you to use sub-weapons without consuming hearts? What the fuck? Oh, and there's a boss rush. That's good. The super boss is in the boss rush. But I know for a fact that... Why does this website have something about skeleton bowling? In the er in an area of the house of sacred remains first floor, you'll enter a long corridor. Inside, you'll see six skeletons on the far side of the wall and a peeping eye floating around. Wait for the peeping eye to roll into a ball and do its flaming color attack. Then posi position yourself right so when you smack him with a light whip attack, he will roll across the floor and smack into the skeletons, destroying them. The object is to try uh, and use the peeping eye to kill all six in one. Uh, if you do, then more skeletons will appear. Three this time. Do the same as before. Then finally, four will appear. Once you destroy those four, a ramen food item will appear. Grab it. You do not have to kill the peeping eye. Otherwise, you will have to exit the room and re-enter to try again. That's hilarious.
Let's see. Let me look into how to get to the super boss. Which, by the way, this super boss also makes a cameo appearance in the DLC for um, Lords of Shadow. So, you know, that's kind of a neat thing, I guess. It's still Lords of Shadow, though. Let's see. Um... <laughs> um How do I get to him though? How do I There we go. Um Um, I have a lot of preparation I have to do before I can get to him. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never fought it before, and apparently it's freakishly difficult. Um... Must obtain the unlocked unlocked jewel found in the pagoda of the misty moon. Okay, wait. Then how do I how do I get the unlocked jewel? What the fuck. Unlocked jewel. That's on the second floor of the pagoda of the misty moon. Oh. Um, I'll just go ahead and pull up some more music. More Smash music, why not? There we go, how to access the area. map lied to me got it that dark room in the left side of the pagoda of misty moon there's another door there i guess um that the map doesn't show and that's where they're hiding the uh, like ability to get to the extra boss but i still have a lot of preparations to do so i guess i'll just do those in between streams if i can find the time Uh, either way, though, um, it's getting pretty late, so I think it's a good idea to end off here. So yeah, next time we're doing the secret boss in Lament of Innocence. So if you're interested in that at all, make sure to show up. Other than that, though, I don't think I have anything else planned for next time, so we might just charge straight ahead into, uh, um... Harmony of Dissonance. I don't know. I might I might take a pit stop for Castlevania Chronicles. Maybe. Uh, just so we're not cramming that game all into one. Or the uh, Harmony of Dissonance, like, up to the end of something. I don't know. Either way, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, good night.